the best spacing that you can get is a three hole gap, which is because that is one, two, three holes or 1.5 inches. It's much, much easier to do a four hole gap or a two inch gap. That's what most teams are gonna use, but three hole gap is possible. And if you're willing to put the time and effort into it, I would highly recommend doing it as it's going to make half an inch thinner on that side, half an inch thinner on that side. Your entire robot's gonna be one inch thinner, which is gonna just make it a smaller profile, help you fit in size if you're very wide. And it's also just going to help save weight because you're gonna not have to extend your skew channels out by an extra half inch on each side. So three hole gap is finicky and there's a couple little quirks for each different RPM. For 360 RPM, what I have done here is coming out, that is just a pretty standard stuff. You have a washer in there for spacing, gear, shaft collar, and then spacers. That was spacing was done in CAD models to be pretty precise. Um, and the shaft collar to stop the shaft from wobbling out. Only need one shaft collar on that because since it's spaced properly, that's not going anywhere. That is a 60 tooth gear low strength and those originally have square holes we drilled those out with a drill so that it could be screw jointed onto the wheel and i'll kind of pop up some pictures from building that but essentially the clearances are always very tight on three hole gaps so i'd highly recommend cutting it out in advance because not a lot of room there and on the traction wheel just because the spacing was slightly different um we used a high strength because we didn't want to drill in another gear so and actually in order to make it fit we had to file down the screw heads um because just on the spacing of 360 RPM. Those pink screws and the red screws were hitting previously. So by filing down the screw heads, that is no longer an issue. So spacing can be quite tight. I know of teams who on the other side of things, like you can see those screw heads sticking out there are almost hitting. So I know teams who have like cut down their screws to be a very specific length. Um, and like for 48 tooth gears, if you're doing 450 RPM, you have to like bevel down the gears. I'll put a picture of that up on the screen. So it's quite a lot of additional work um, for most drive base RPMs, but I would definitely recommend it as it's gonna help you save space and there's no additional downside once you've put the initial work in.